everybody, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. I am back today with my third and final project using Simple Stories Summer Farmhouse Paper. For this one, I have a super, super simple double waterfall folio. So on the front, I've got just one of the six by six cut aparts matted and popped up with the new like super, super thin foam tape that is in the store at Country Craft Creations. I just got this yesterday, or well, Saturday. And um, it's just like when you want some dimension, but you don't want tons, it just, it's just enough. Um, I've got a couple of the chipboard elements, a couple of ephemera pieces, a couple of enamel dots on the front. Other than that, I left it fairly straightforward. I did put one of the chipboard pieces on the spine. When you open it up, we've got double waterfalls. Waterfall on this side is four by four. There are seven of them here. I did not mat the backs. I may go back through and um, add some of the leftover ephemera pieces on the backs of these. I haven't really decided yet. And then that is on just a little pocket here where I've got just a few of the snap cards that I had left over. So I've got those just tucked in there. And this ties shut and it flips up and we've got four by six photo mat up here. And then another pocket down here with some more of the snap cards. This summer top 10 is probably one of my favorites. It's just really cute. And uh, another chipboard element down here. On the other side, we've got what initially started out as a four by six waterfall before I realized that my entire width of my book was not six inches. <laughs> so it ended up being a four by five waterfall, which is fine. <laughs> so, and I need to erase that off the back there. Again, I haven't matted the backs of these. I did just cut down um, a couple of the four by six cut aparts so that we had, um, you know, a couple of these fun little elements in here. On the back side, we've got small stacked pockets that again, I just have snap cards in here. And then another large pocket that you can get four by six photo mats in. And then just one of the chipboard pieces. So like I said, super, super simple. Um, the tutorial I recorded in one shot and I think it's like 45 minutes. So um, not a difficult project at all. I will have the tutorial and the cut list loaded shortly. And as always, if you end up following along and making this project, please share it on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook, as well as on my page, Scrapping Under the Influence. And I'm also on Instagram under Scrapping Under the Influence, and you can share there as well. So enjoy. Thanks.